Hi, my name is Reverend Dale Brown, and I have the great privilege of being one of the pastors here at Community Church. For the last several weeks, we've been moving through a book by Adam Hamilton talking about how we can connect to God, the practices that help us connect to God. The first being prayer, the second being the reading of scripture, and the third, the one we have focused on this week in worship, being serving or service. When I say service, I mean those acts of kindness that are done in a way that we can get no gain or personal benefit. They're simply done because God calls us to do them and because the other person benefits or is in need of them. My challenge to you this week is very simple. This week and for all the weeks ahead as I invited you to pray five times a day, morning, at mealtime, and at night. And also, as I ask you to read five verses of the Bible each week, I'm going to ask you this week to do five intentional acts of human kindness. As you look around the world, it's not hard to find an opportunity to say some kind word to do some kind deed or to encourage a brother or sister or even someone who's outside the faith. Those things are not important. What is important is that we serve in Jesus' name. Now, I need to make this disclaimer. Doing these acts of human kindness might make us feel like we're good people. That's not the point. No one of us is good enough. Only Jesus, only God is good. But we do them because we are a forgiven people whose lives have been changed and transformed by Jesus. And we do them as a response to the grace of God. So don't think that we're earning our salvation or that we're meriting a special place in heaven or that somehow us serving makes us better than the person sitting next to us. Just know that we do them because Jesus calls us to. Five acts of human kindness, intentional acts, directed at people's needs, not our wants, maybe even done when it's not convenient or easy, but done because everyone we meet our closest friend and our greatest enemy is created in the image and likeness of God and thereby worthy of God's love and our kindness. I would love to hear how these acts of kindness touch your hearts, touch your lives. I'd love to hear about the joy they bring because my experience is this, serving others and not focusing on the problems of our own lives brings great and wonderful joy. So go out and serve and enjoy it and experience God's pleasure as you do.